Live streaming has become a very topical conversation. A lot of people don't understand what live streaming is and it's certainly going to be changing our sport. So it's important, I think, for us to get a good grip of, of what it is. Lucy, tell us a little bit about live streaming. So, um, I was approached um, probably mid last year um, by a friend of mine um, when we started running state championships saying we should live stream. And I thought, live stream? Can we live stream? Um, from my experience, um, you know, past purchasing horses and going overseas and over east, live stream has become something that's, you know, really affecting our sport these days. Um, with the social media, Facebook, YouTube, everything, you know, people wanting more information, current information. Um, live stream is, is, allows you to see in the time when events happening, what's happening and, you know, what the horses are doing. So, um, you know, I think it's very important um, to have live stream and, of, and for people to understand what live stream actually is. So live stream and for the people that don't understand what it is, certainly live, it, it's happening at the time, but a lot of people don't realise that you can go back and watch it later. Yeah. There's also, I think, because the technology is so new, uh, that a number of people in the sport are not really seeing the benefit of it. Yeah. Um, from your perspective, Dwight, as a CEO of EWA, how do you feel that live streaming will be affecting our sport in the future? Oh, I think it has unbelievable potential because uh, you can just simply think if you've got an event, you've got 500 people come to watch it or 100 people come to watch the event live. Straight, uh, um, if it's live streamed, you can have thousands, potentially tens of thousands. The stats from the State Show Jumping Championship, some 30 something thousand people watching. So it just broadens everything. It's the exposure of the athletes, the horses, the sponsors. <coughs> sponsors, everything. So it's just uh, can be a real game changer to bringing um, new money to the sport, um, promoting the sport itself. So there's just benefits all the way down and, and promoting the clubs that, that, that do it to the, the event organizers. What would you say to an event organizer who is considering using live stream for their own event? I think it's definitely something they should look at. I think it I, I, um, provides so much opportunity for the sponsors and uh, that ability to um, showcase the sport, give value to the sponsors, actually a real value for something they're doing. So it uh, often you have an event and you say, oh, you know, can we have some money to do this part, sponsor this class? And, and those sponsors come forward, obviously, but suddenly you've got <coughs> the it opening up, people are able to look at it at home, internet, but replay it over and over again. So you're just really broadening how many people can view it, um, the reach the sponsors get from it. it. It's just really important for the sport. So as far as funding is concerned, <coughs> uh, you know, I guess it sounds like it's going to make a big difference. How mm. big of a difference do you think it will make? I think it will make a really big difference um, in several bits. There's, um, and, and some of the other um, guests can talk about it, David and Lucy and, and Bev, but um, certainly just having an event, um, you know, you get, obviously the sponsors can get greater exposure, but then you've got that, that whole flow on thing. Uh, you get um, more um, participation in the sport in general. Um, Department of Sport and Rec likes that, um, people seeing the sport, um, obviously if it's held somewhere like this, the State of Christian Centre, fantastic venue that promotes the venue, other users might come in and use it for other things, it's got those spin-offs. And then you've got the actual um, horses themselves, the, the whole industry of um, the <coughs> trainers, coaches, breeders of horses, that promotion of their horses at events, people can go online, see the horses performing, so it just opens it up to uh, apart from this very isolated pool in WA, we're you know, opening it up to anywhere. I, I know from, from a sponsor's perspective, <coughs> in our sport in general, uh, sponsorship has normally been a donation. You know, realistically, we've run a number of shows on the, on the basis of donations being made to put, to put classes together. Now, from this perspective, and certainly from live streaming, it gives sponsors the ability to have a much larger reach. How do you feel, Lucy, from a sponsor's perspective, how do you think this will change the type of sponsors that equestrian events will attract? 
I, I, I certainly think that um, you know it, it brings the 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 market to the customer or the customer to the market much much more direct by having by having sponsors and being able to live stream those particular products you know whether it's a transport company or a saddlery company or whatever it is you know you will be able to reach the audience that you want i mean we as equestrian businesses spend great amount of hours trying to reach those people over east reach you know through facebook through all the social media so this way you know we can certainly uh, give the sponsors a real value for money and 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 you know and, and you know, these days, you know, kids watch what the other kids wear. They want to wear the same. You know, what, what horses they're riding. You know, what what they're using, what products they're using. So it certainly, um, I think, it, it, it offers the sponsors a, a much more, you know, much more close close relation to to the customer. Certainly, what I find to be very exciting is that technology is changing and it's becoming a lot more accessible for us to be able to promote our sport. So with this technology and with video um, and the opportunities that we can offer sponsors, we can run adverts and provide them with extra exposure that they haven't had. Now, Lucy, you were instrumental in organising live streaming for the, the state championships, the state yeah, championships year, which was the first yeah. time we live streamed. Yeah. How was that and uh, did you feel that the weekend was a success? Look, I think it was definitely a success. And as I said before, it was it was quite hard to actually persuade people to get on board. People were quite sceptical about, um, you know, about... Because of, of, of the initial cost. It, uh, of the initial cost. And yeah. so it was really hard to say, look, it will benefit. I mean, now we look ret retrospectively, we can see that 35,000 people have watched it. And, and uh, you know, we have probably tried to add another dimension to the show, which, you know, people were walking past or, or people like Sonia Johnson or Rory Hovell, they were able to commentate that some of the classes and, and, and it, it just added a great dimension to, to the whole show where people then go went back they were riding watching the classes that we missed and and you know the whole humor and then sponsors were involved so that side of it was was amazing i think it was a really good experience i think uh, we certainly um, i know david got very positive feedback from over east people were watching it you know like we watched the the, the live stream you know over east or from the world cup final or from whatever it is at the show jumping over east was watching us you know and that's i think it was really good to see that we got the support even though it was kind of a last minute decision i mean i i would like to see what would happen if we had you know six months promoting that we are going to live stream a live stream and, and i guess from a sponsor's perspective as yeah. well is that you know you're saying it's been watched how many times I think about 35,000 views yeah, that we was got. A, that was yeah. initial watching on the weekend, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So since then, many more than that. Yeah. And it's there forever, so people yeah. can continue to go back and watch it. Yeah. What about, David, uh, you were a rider at the show and you got to experience the live stream from a rider's perspective. How does it affect you and, and the riders in the industry? Well, I think from a, from a positive point of view, we we are a small state and isolated and that's probably the, the biggest downside of living in Western Australia. We have great facilities, good course builders and lots of very good aspects but, but being so isolated makes it difficult. And I think, you know, we do a lot of shows where we have to put performances forward and qualify for like Sydney Royal and, and, and different places like that. And, and so there's been a, probably a perception that the standard here, because there's only maybe half a dozen in a class, that a 140 class in Perth is probably not a 140 class in Sydney or Melbourne. And and that's probably not true. And and so when people can actually see it on live stream, and as Lucy said, I had some good feedback from people in Sydney and Melbourne about watching our shows. And I think that the they realise that the standard is probably better than they had uh, mm -hmm. appreciated before. And, and yeah. Uh, and, and just to, to go on from that, um, I think that, you know, we ran that Youth Olympics qualifier. And so that course is built the same throughout Australia. So it's a standardised course, same size arena, same size jumps. So from um, the kids' point of view, they could watch the people in Queensland jumping the same track, people in Melbourne, people in Sydney, and then those people could then watch what happened in, in Western Australia. 
which is a positive thing because then you know they look at the the faults and and you know our, our standard is so it's pretty good it's pretty amazing it's the first time that something like that would have been possible now yeah uh, look they, they they've they've done things like that standardized course building at, at, at other times there was a like something that happened uh, internationally that they did that with but to see it but yeah they didn't have the yeah. live stream at that, mm. at that stage and, and, and it really affects all part of the business not just the riders and the businesses it affects you know the coaches the the it promotes Absolutely. every part of equestrian mm -hmm. in yeah. industry you know the selling horses the the buying horses the selling products the buying products you know the coaches the course designers it promotes every part of equestrian that's what live streaming really does mm -hmm. you know it, it it joins people and joins businesses together so i think that's the that's the really important thing and that's why i'm really passionate about it is that it really you know makes equestrian certainly in wa and us being a bit isolated makes it equestrian just um, lifts the profile of, of everything related to, to that. Question. It's very exciting and the, and the landscape is definitely changing. There will be some people that don't necessarily understand it yet, but certainly this is what's coming and this is the future. So Beverly, you are organising the first dressage live stream in WA. How is that going? It's quite nerve wracking. <laughs> um, it, it's a whole new concept. Um, I can see it as amazing value for sponsors because as we've discussed um they their ads will go up um their class will have their logo underneath it and it's not just a one-off for this for the sponsors it's they can watch it over and over and the riders the lucky ones that will get to ride indoors will be able to have their test professionally videoed they can it's theirs to keep you know, um, it's a, an, a marvellous tool for, like mm. you've said, for promoting and selling our horses. Um, I don't think that over east they get how good our horses are. I think they might have got a lesson at um, Dressage with the Stars with um, WA horses just kicking it. Um, the champion Pony of Ponies was bred here by Christy Jarvis at Dynamic. Um, Florino, of course, who grew up here, second in the Grand Prix and winning the Grand Prix freestyle. Um, Michelle, with her beautiful Sophia, who's a favourite of mine, um, won her, her group. Um, it was, we did the most amazing amount, we, West Australia, mm. did the most amazing amount of stuff over there. I watched it on live stream, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> And now people in the Eastern States are certainly going to have the opportunity to see these amazing mm. horses here on yes. live stream. Yeah, we need to promote our horses. We need to promote our sport. Um, we need to give our sponsors something back that they don't just give money as a donation, that they are actually going to get some bang for their buck, that mm. it's not just here today and gone. Mm. It's something that they can pick up and keep and everybody will re-watch that for, if they're, especially if they're here, they'll come in and they'll re-watch it at home <laughs> over and over and they'll show it to grandmama and I know for a fact that the show jumping live streaming was viewed in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the West Australian writers here whose parents, grandparents are in the UK. Yeah. They were watching and, it and live. And in America, and in New Zealand, mm. and in Florida. That's like the, that's when the one we asked people were they fact. watching, yeah. you know, there was yeah. it was amazing the amount of, you know, in Germany, um, you know, people in Germany were watching, people in Ireland, you know, when you asked people were they watching, there was mm. so much, so much, um, you know, that was getting back. I know for a fact that, that we get a guy uh, that flies over from Germany to assess our horses. He was watching, all his family was watching, all their friends were watching, you know, everybody was watching. So it's it's just something that to me is, is go going to be a must, you know, we if we want to go forward and we want to attract the sponsors you know for example i know that we did a video for state championships for my business and we then ran that on facebook and now that's now had fifty thousand views yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. so it's, and it's from amazing and that's a little video for my business so from my great. perspective and being in the business that i'm in yeah. it's really important that we can deliver measurable results to our clients yeah. 
And yes. businesses are very savvy these days. They really understand what a return on investment is and they want to see what they can get back. Mm -hmm. And from a live stream video perspective, they can also, they can get those statistics and they can understand exactly what, what value they're receiving from it. Yeah. And I think it's really important, I, I think, I mean, David certainly where was he was competed you know, all over Australia, um, that our events here are very professionally run. <coughs> and I think um, just uh, to actually showcase how professional our yeah. big, big competitions are, like they're, they're equal of anywhere, whenever. Mm. And I, I was lucky enough to compete over East, you all, you go to events over East. You know, if you're doing well here, you, you will do well over there. Uh, yes. The events run here are equal to any event run, uh, the mm. standard. I, 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 th I think on that point too, Dwight, it, it's probably good for the um, organising committees as well. If they know that if, if, if they've gone to the trouble to put it on live stream, then they're going to put a bigger emphasis on making the event look good as well. And so then it ups the standards of the events and it's it helps with yeah. sponsors. Yeah, so, right. you know, when, when it first started in, uh, I think, showcase of show jumping in mm -hmm. Sydney, that um, Kerry Winning Runs was one of the first ones to live stream because they would, they'd been doing it a lot in Europe and they'd spent a lot of time there. And, and they very much made sure that the show looked very professional because that's going all over mm. the world. Yes. Yeah. So I, I think from, from the point of view of the um, organising committees, it'll, it'll help mm. boost the profile yeah. as well. Certainly breaking down boundaries. That's from my perspective, True. that's yeah. how I see it. Mm. It's really bringing mm. uh, our sport together with, in other locations in the world. Mm. And I think that shows, you know, you, you, know, you look at Apparently one of the most successful sports is Formula One, you know, Grand Prix, you know, with the Ferraris and all that. How many people are going to own a Ferrari? But you know, millions around the world sit back and, and watch these Formula One races. Mm. You know, we've got a lot of people out there involved in horses that might necessarily want to jump a metre 40 round like but David, they but they want to watch. Mm. And it's a massive market. So and you, look at, you look at the Olympics. They love the horses. Yeah. So and, and show jumping was the most watched sport at the Olympics, more mm. than swimming. Mm. Mm. Show it's jumping. Really show that's jumping. Fantastic. Everyone yeah. watches show jumping. So I think that's something that's we, we under estimate how many people out there really like watching horses compete yeah. certainly show jumping dressage you know the eventing so there's a, such an avenue there for, yeah. um, for us to um, exploit with live marketing and other live other sports have really embraced live streaming you know motorsports and so mm. forth have actually embraced it so it is coming and certainly our industry will become quite familiar with the term yes. um, so I guess as far as the different equestrian disciplines do you see live streaming being of benefit to numerous disciplines within oh, the question? Most certainly. You know, we um, held last year the um, vaulting championships down in the indoor arena. And it's, um, you know, that horses are lunged on a, essentially a 20 metre circle, the vaulters um, are performing. You know, that, that in a sense is really entertaining. <laughs> You know, just something like that. You know, sitting back, I hadn't really watched it before. I'd seen it uh, once, um, luckily, um, before and really enjoyed it. Um, and just watching it, I thought, wow, that would be so good live streamed. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, the, the whole diverse range right the way through from, you know, yeah, any of our sports, I think, would benefit. Mm. And also training opportunities, master classes. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not just competition, you know. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, you know, used as an educational tool from, you know, a question WA's point of view, you know, where WA is the biggest state in Australia, you know, we're bigger than Europe. Mm. Um, I'm trying to explain to a friend that visited once, you know, they wanted to hitchhike to Broome for the weekend, and I did explain to them that there's actually the diff same as going from <laughs> Barcelona <laughs> to Moscow. <laughs> and, you know, so, um, you know, the, the, uh, the breadth of, of WA, and if we can do things here that can tie in our country members so they can get, you know, feel like they've got value for their membership, um, that they've uh, got some, um, you know, worth of being involved because they can have the training opportunities, look at master classes, watch events, they're sitting in their home at Esperance or wherever it might be. I think it's, um, you know, the benefits are just amazing. David, you mentioned earlier that live streaming lifts the shows. How do you think it affects the riders? Well, I, I think um, when the OCs up the ante with the shows, then it's also then the responsibility for the riders to do the same thing. And Lucy's in the business of, of selling gear and, and I think the profile of our sport has increased immeasurably in the last probably five or six years. The, the riders look much more um, uniform and, and um, the uh, influence
influence from European riders. Mm -hmm. Like every kid wants to ride in the same helmet that Edwina Alexander rides in. So, and uh, you know, that's, that's a good thing. A good thing from a sponsor's point of view. And, and so I think from uh, how it affects Western Australian riders directly is we probably go in the ring and we want to look smart. And um, you know, some of the young girls spend a lot more time with that than probably I do. But it's it, <laughs> but we all try to up the ante a little bit yeah. because we, we come to a show that's being live streamed and we know that the OCs have done a great job of, of putting um, that show on and so then we, we as riders don't want to let them down. And Lucy, to conclude, how do you feel uh, live stream will continue and what do you see the future to be? Well, I really hope it will continue and I will do my best to make sure that it does. Um, I, I, I do this for one thing and that's because I, I, I love the sport um, and I, I will do anything to make the sport better. Um, so, and I think live stream is just part of that. So it definitely mm -hmm. comes in hand in hand to improving the sport, making it better, um, making it better for the riders. You know, without riders, there is no sport. So we have to make sure that we showcase WA riders, we showcase the sport, we showcase the beautiful venue we have, and we are so lucky to have the news. Um, and I, I think that that's live streaming really is a future for our sport. You know, to get the money in, improve the sh get the sponsors. Um, we have to we have to really look at seriously at improving our live stream and, and, and doing a really good job on it. And Dwight, you seem to be right behind this. How do you see things even this year progressing with live stream? Oh, I think it's uh, you know great potential. The more events we can get live streamed, I feel the better. Um, there's some stats that are just working through on a proposal for funding for this place uh, for the State Equestrian Centre and the whole sport. And they're saying for every dollar invested in uh, or spent at a running an event, another two dollars are generated, and 16 percent of that is spent locally. So you know mm -hmm. you look at the State Show Jumping Championships. You know there was potentially you know 180 thousand dollars worth of additional generation of income right just from one event mm -hmm. um, which is quite interesting yeah. statistics. so just that growing the sports I think the potential if we can market it and which is live streaming mm -hmm. is the obvious tool for that um, today it just opens opens it all up so great potential and Beverly in one month we're going to be having our first yes. West Australian dressage live stream how are you feeling about well that? Uh, it's going to be amazing, I'm absolutely certain. And for the riders, I think it will be fantastic because mm -hmm. they can see the, we'll be doing the higher tests, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, the younger riders, the less experienced riders can watch it, mm -hmm. be inspired and mm -hmm. aspire mm -hmm. to getting to that level, to the FEI level. I can't wait. I'm really excited to be watching it. Yes. From everybody on the panel, thank you very much for tuning in. And we really hope you enjoy the future of live streaming as we think it will make a massive impact on our sport.